This here is from Depth Delusion, who's still going on almost every day, talking about things long past and how they're still triggered. This person says, this was awful to read. What are your thoughts? I don't know if I chose the appropriate flair. Maybe I should have gone with discussion. I was just watching a Netflix documentary, which honestly I liked. And in the third episode, they showed this letter that was addressed to Amber from DA Survivors. This reminded me, this was a huge reason why I wouldn't believe Amber in the first place, that other victims sympathize with Johnny instead of Amber, and I felt that I was no one to question their judgment because I've never been abused, so I wouldn't know. But they're wrong, and it hurts. You can feel the pain of whoever wrote this, and you can feel their strength and conviction, and they're aiming it at a woman who's just like them, who wants their support, and who would go through hell to support them back. Wow. That's what they think. So I guess the implication, which is a bit confusing, is that she wouldn't believe Amber in the first place, but never goes on to say that she believes her now directly, but all right. And here's what they clipped out, apparently from the documentary. Amber, no victim of DV acts in the manner in which you do. You are the abuser, not the abused. You sold us a role, a character, the survivor, and we bought it eagerly. We supported you, we wept for you, we rallied behind you, and you betrayed us all. We trusted you. You used our pain as you appropriated our stories, re-victimized us. Then you weaponized our movement against the person you were abusing. All this for what? Merely another move in your twisted mind game to garner relevance, social currency, adulation, and more wealth. You toyed with his mind, making him believe that he was a monster. You convinced him that he was bringing your rage upon himself. You battered and berated him. And as all abusers do, you trained him to feel culpable and apologize to you. The minute survivors heard you say, you make me do this, we knew you really were an abuser. Johnny was your victim, a survivor, and this is what is awful to read for these fans. And Lady Somersile says something I don't really want to read here out loud because there's a lot of R words in it, and it's not directly about Amber or Johnny, but I think sometimes this triggers people to go off track and think about things in general, which I don't all disagree with, but the general conversation is kind of a separate topic. And Brand New Face says, this is the basis of the Netflix series Unbelievable, which is so good. I thought about this series while watching the reactions to the trial. Ugh. That story is brutal. Poor gal. She didn't act like someone who had been R-worded. I feel like as often as it happens, that's not something that your average person would know, mostly because how many victims actually tell people around them? So how would most people know what an R-word victim is supposed to act like? I guess insinuating, like, I guess insinuating we couldn't really know how Amber would have acted with these allegations because we can't know how other people actually act in reality. Just one of those, you know, really circus acrobat arguments that undermine pretty much all the body language and why she was caught in and just saying like, oh, how can we know? No one knows, so what? But that's how these people think. Anyway, this here, whether it's from the heart or passionate or not, I tend to agree with. And I'm pointing out here how her fans are still going on and on and on we're not really talking about her anymore. So I guess some people see a video title and say, well, I don't want to talk about her, but I'm not. I'm talking about the fan base. In the same way, when I talk about Star Wars sometimes, or used to a lot more, I'm talking about the fan base who likes the new stuff more than the actual Star Wars movies and shows itself, because it's obvious what's wrong. But it's not as obvious as why the fans like it. In the same way, we have here with Amber fans, it's not as obvious why they keep defending and why they keep going on. The only thing I could think is they believe her and they can't let it go because they think an injustice has been done and they got to keep going on and on and on. But I'll be here to call them out. This is only five days old. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.